de WF Kumuji Classics. You see, when I became a Christian, I knew that 80% consecration will not do. I knew that 90% consecration will not do. I knew that if I was going to remain a Christian, it will take 100% consecration. When I came out of the university, it was very easy for me to have bought a vehicle immediately, but I did not. You know why? The preacher who preached the word of God to me, he didn't have any vehicle. And I thought it would be a sin upon me if I was living luxuriously having a vehicle when my pastor did not have a vehicle. Nobody taught me, nobody told me. I just felt like that. You know what I began to do? I began saving my money every month so I could buy a vehicle for him. Not only that. The church did not have a vehicle. And you know, I thought it would be a crime, not just a sin. It would be iniquity. It would be abomination for me to be riding a vehicle when the whole church that I belong to, the church that brought the message of salvation to me, did not have any vehicle at all. I said that would be wrong for me. And so I was contributing money, saving money. Not only that. You see, for many years, I played the organ. I practiced the organ. I did that thing. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I will play and sing and cry at the same time. I couldn't live without organ music. I couldn't live without it. I'll play the hymns of various denominations and I'll read those words. Sometimes I'll, I'll stop playing and I'll begin to pray while, while I'm just looking at those words. And then I will sing. I will do a lot of things. Oh, I love music. But then I went to the East. I was traveling around with the Scripture Union. And I went to the East and I saw our church. Not deeper life there was no deeper life at that time our church and they didn't have any organ the pastor rose up and waved his hand and just said you know la 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 for them and then they sang i was battered i was smashed i was crushed i went on my face i prayed like a great sinner i said how could i be enjoying organ music at home and the whole church did not have organ there and then i decided that church will have that organ with all my music books not only that eventually we started deeper life and you know, in the days of deeper life, early days, I think I had two short sleeves I used to wear, two different colors. When one is dirty, I wash it and wore the other one. And maybe I had two pairs of trousers or three, and one sandal, I know that one. Why didn't I buy all I could buy? Oh, because all my salary went on printing tracts. All my salary went on just serving the Lord. Not only that, in my university days, all our long vacation, you know what I did? In our campground, I will come to that campground and take the cutlass and begin to do physical work. Because, you know, in our church, we just knew that the most important thing is for a man to spend his life for the salvation of people. And that's what I did. That's what I call complete consecration. And in fact, our pastor will call me and, and mention my name and say, you are not dressing well. He didn't know why I was not dressing well. I was saving all my money for that church. And even that pastor will persecute me for not dressing well, for not doing this, for not doing that. I will just smile. I never told him that all my money went to that same church. And, you know, they will say, you are not eating well. They will say, are you not fasting? Or are you this? I will just smile. They didn't know that everything I had went for the work of the Lord. The people that became born again, early in deeper life. All my money went on buying Bibles for them. Printing tracts for deeper life. Writing articles and sending out deeper Christian life articles. And having retreats and putting all my university salary into that thing. You know why I'm telling you this? They never advertised for me before I surrendered my time, my money, my life, everything I had. Now to tell you the true story, brothers and sisters, that's why it took me a long time before I got married. Because while I was in that church, I couldn't even think about marriage. To tell you the truth. I felt that my whole life will go for the preaching of the gospel. Think about it, I wasn't a worker in that church. I wasn't a preacher in that church. I was just a church member and my whole life went for the propagation of the gospel and I wasn't called a worker. And when deeper life started, that's, that was the time I should have been thinking about marriage. Because when I became a lecturer at the University of Lagos, 1973, at that time I was at the age of 32 and it was right about time. I knew that I should be thinking about marriage, but you know, we just started deeper life. And I wanted to spend my life that you may be born again. You know, if I married at that time, I had many children, all, you know, this one crying, this one crying. You might not have been born again. So I laid that on the altar and I said, Lord, here is it, whatever it will take. And years after, after deeper life was established. 
that I knew well now, if I wanted to get married, Lord, is it not time now? And the Lord spoke to me. That's what I've done for you. That's what I've done for this church and for God. You think I've stopped doing that now? No, not at all. As I see all this, I'm determining that if people will not serve God, I will. I'm still going to give the rest of my life. And I'm going to do more than ever before. I'm going to allow people to do whatever they like to do, but I have only one life. And that one life will go for the preaching of the gospel. I'm not going to look for convenience or luxury. I have sworn to my own heart, I will not change. My hands are on the plow, and I'm not looking back. The WF Kumuji Classics.